Shalom. I'll start by giving all the praises of growing honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahushai Bashem, Rarachak Wadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the great millstone who were well, and as always, peace and salutations. To the hopefully like Tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And uh, just to quote Habakkuk 2, verse 3, where the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And then um, you, know, you can see that, you know, major things are being set in place for the fulfillment of prophecy. And, um, you know, every day when we see certain things being reported, you know, we, uh, you know, we go to the source, you know, which is uh, the scriptures, which contains the words of the Heavenly Father, in which he declared the end from the beginning. So everything that we see and hear, we know that the Lord reported it first. All right. So uh, this is from uh, the NPR.org. The U.S. is considering a radical rethinking of the dollar for today's digital world. <laughs> rethinking, huh? You know, as if you know they just pondering upon it. They 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 trying to reconsider if they're gonna you know, bring this to fruition, you know, for today's, you know, world standard of technology. Come on, man. Knock it off. This this is this been in the plans for decades. All right, going back to your your globalist uh international bankers who actually controls and funds these governmental institutions, whether it be the Fed, whether it be the IMF, whether it be the central bank, this all this always been in the plans. All right, and and you know we're not ignorant to your devices as it is written. Let's say you should get an advantage of us, but we're not ignorant of his devices. And uh, if you've ever looked up that word for devices, let's go there real quick. You know, you look up the word devices right here in the Greek. The word is uh naima. All right, no no ema. And it says a mental perception, thought, a evil purpose. That which thinks the mind, thoughts, or purposes. All right. And Satan has, you know, an evil purpose. All right. And, you know, once he come out with these evil purposes, you know, he makes sure he practices it when it's in his hand. Like it tells you a Micah. Let's go to Micah real quick. Micah 2 verse 1, it says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. All right. And, you know, it starts off with, you know, that evil thought, an evil purpose, and they have these secret councils on how they're gonna, you know, conduct these, you know, agendas based off of these evil purposes, these schemes, these devices. As I, I believe it's in the uh, Pro the book of Proverbs or in Ecclesiastes where it talks about uh, purposes are 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 disappointed without counsel. see if I could find that and this is why it it, it it goes into that in Psalms the 64th chapter where King David was prophesying of how the wicked globalists you know they have these uh secret councils you know to uh implement these you know wicked devices you know Proverbs 15 and 22 it says without counsel purposes are disappointed but in a multitude of counselors they are established. All right, so they have these uh, secret councils and they've been doing this, conducting these things, you know, since they've been in power. All right, Psalm 64 and 1, it says, Hear my voice, O power, and my prayer. Preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. All right. And then they uh, scroll down. 
and go to verse five, it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter. All right, and, and because they have an evil purpose. And what is the purpose? It says they commune of laying snares privately. They say who shall see them. You know, they're, they're finding out ways on how to, you know, trap you, put you in a pit, in a system. All right, where they can have you under total control. And that's pretty much what they've been developing all this time. All right, they've been, um, you know, doing a lot of predictive programming on what they want established as far as, you know, this uh, new fourth industrial revolution, a, di a dystopian society where, you know, the world is being governed and controlled by uh, artificial intelligence, technology, a global technocracy where everything is being manip uh, uh, monitored control traced tracked and anybody that consents to this new way of living this new system you're putting yourself in this man's snares that he's lying right before you he's already conditioned you to you know some form of that type of control you know getting us used to you know these uh digital devices you see it says they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. All right, and let's uh, read that in the NLT. It says, as they plot their crimes, they say we have divided the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning. And that's why we got to, you know, keep the whole armor of the Most High upon us. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. All right. So we see the direction that they're heading in. All right, they ain't got to rethink nothing. This is what they're going to do. All right, you see the path of um, the petrodollar, how it's losing its value every single day. You know, with them, you know, printing out so the Fed printing out so much money and, and putting it in circulation, printing it out of thin air. It's not backed by anything of, of no value. All right, and, and, and all these... uh you know, stimulus bills and different, you know, the infrastructure bill, all these different bills that, you know, your president is signing, is just causing more and more inflation, which pretty soon is going to become uh, hyperinflation. And this is what they intended to do all along so that they can, you know, pull the plug and, and, and bring about the demise of the dollar so they can bring in the digital one world currency. You see? So I'll read just a little bit of this article and then uh you know I'll put I'll post a link to this to this in the description box. And also I want to play a video. This guy uh Nipsey, which you know he actually um was one of the first rappers out there that was going into the digital revolution, which is all part of the fourth industrial revolution. And, and he was actually, you know, pushing it. He was actually pushing and promoting this uh, agenda. He was all with it, man. And a lot of a lot of Jake, you know, they uh, heroed this guy, you know, when he was put to death. They idolized him and did all this stuff as if he's this great saint. They some Jake even tried to compare this dude to to to, to the Messiah. You know, Jake went overboard with it, but you know, this guy was actually a part of you know that agenda he, he he pushed that agenda because he was a part of that industry that's controlled by the very same people the elite all right you see the 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 the, the two flags on his neck you know it, it represented the, the the marathon continues but that that's masonic i believe that's an allude to the globalists So anyway, getting into the article, it says, since its establishment as the country's national currency, the dollar has undergone many updates and changes, but nothing compares to the proposal being debated today. The U.S. is gingerly con considering whether to adopt a digital version of its currency, one better suited for today's increasingly 
cashless world, ushering in what could be one of the dollar's most fundamental transformations. And this is what they want to do. <laughs> there ain't no question about it. This is what they're going to do. And they're going to do it because the Lord said they're going to do it. This is fulfillment of prophecy. This is the beast. All right. Basically giving life to the image of the beast. All right. And that image, it goes back to the idea. All right. This is Rome, you know, being uh, uh, reemerged with the same system, but now it's it's more advanced. You know. It's is 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 now with the technological advancement. Okay. And and we're heading in that direction, man. We know that this devil is gonna, you know, use this uh, mechanism of, of of control, you know, of of buying and selling. That's that's how he's gonna try to cause you to 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 uh, receive that karagma, the charagma, that if you don't have it, you won't be able to buy or sell. He's gonna control that aspect of your living. So you see the direction that we're heading in. Okay. It says in that scenario, the U.S. would not only mint the coins and print paper bills, but also issue digital cash or a central bank digital currency that will be stored in apps or digital wallets on our smartphones or in your CHIP that they will uh, implant in, in, in your hand or in your head, which people already do it, especially over there in Sweden. So you see how this is all ties in. It says we could then use them to pay for things just like we do with Venmo or Apple Pay. And no physical money would change hands. Are right, they going to make everything contactless? And that's all part of the plans of the fourth industrial revolution. All right. Where they want to basically blur the lines between the physical, the, the digital, and the biological. All right, they want to merge you with the Internet of Things. You become part of the Internet of Things, man. All right. And that's how they will have total control. All right. A combination of these technologies making it possible for them to, to tightly control the buying and selling. You know, and, and, and the money can be controlled that way. Okay. You had uh, Aaron Russo, he had an interview about it. When he had, he talked about how he had this, had this discussion with uh, Nick Rockefeller. Like basically, we want to create a, a monetary system where all the money is going to be upon these uh, chips. You know. And then if, you know, Based on this social credit system that they're definitely uh, setting up, you know, based on your behavior, is going to determine how much you're worth and what what services you have available to you. He gonna have control over all that, man. All right. It says it's a vision of a cashless future that other countries already embracing china for example has unveiled the digital yuan on a trial basis india this week said it would create a digital rupee now the u.s is weighing whether it wants to get into the game and guess what it will they all are going to get into the game because that's all part of the agenda of the globalists this is what they want all right so everything is going digital for this very purpose Okay, so let me uh, play this video real quick, and this is uh, Nipsey. He's pretty much going to tell you what it is. Hold up. Revolution. Anything that can go digital will go digital. The digital revolution, from my understanding, is basically when you go to the grocery store and you got to check out, and it used to be a lady checking you out, it's a machine. When you used to go to the Blockbuster, 
and brings up uh, DVDs is Netflix. You still got a time where everybody sees is iTunes, it's Spotify. And so what that is called is called the digital revolution. Anything that can go digital will go digital. So when you look at like a professional like music or like movies, you sell a movie, you sell a music, these are things that used to be tangible. You used to be on a CD, you used to be on a cassette. Now it became digital. She said it exists in the cloud. So when you think about business, when you think about selling something that has no tangible form, you can't hold it, you can't put it in a plastic case. Yep. And of course, you know, they, they packaged that idea with, you know, it being uh, convenient. It's 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 a it's 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 a new form. It's a new way. You know, it's 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 an updated way of of transaction. You know, the, the the tangibility that's that's the old way. That's outdated. All right. So this is what they're gonna do. Okay. And they've had plenty of time to, you know, plan these plan these things out. Okay. Because without council purposes are are disappointed. Well, the Heavenly Father, let's go to Psalms 33 and 10 real quick, 10 and 11. Psalms 33 and 10, it says, The Lord bringeth the counsel of the heathen to naught. He maketh the devices of the people of none effect. The counsel of the Lord standeth forever, the thoughts of his heart to all generations. So in other words, you know, what these devils are these Edomites and all these other nations that are in league with them they thinking that this great reset this uh fourth industrial revolution you know basically this whole uh new world order they really are looking forward to being successful and basically closing it out they, they're they're in the midst of the transition that's what this whole pandemic has been all about it was already set in place, man, to, to, to get you a part of, you know, this new digital uh, system. You know, they won't, they, they was, they was pushing, you know, to, to get the juice, come to find out there's some technology in it. Then you need a, a, a passport, which is digital. And that's to force you to get into the, the, the whole social credit source, credit score system. Then from that, what? Now you're going to be, using uh, uh, universal digital currencies. That's what's next on the list, which is all entirely controlled by the government. And now through that form of control, now they can deny you of services, you know, food, travel, all right, uh, financial transactions, buying and selling, purchasing, Unless you unless you obey it, unless you fall into it, now you become a digital slave. So Esau thinks he's going to get to that point where he's going to have the whole entire planet sewn up. But little do he know that the will of the Heavenly Father must be done. It's about his counsel. And according to his counsel, you are going to, you know, set up this image. You're going to give life to it and you're going to have people worship it. All right, let's go to Revelation 13. Revelation 13 and 15, it says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And before he, you know, actually puts you to death, he's going to separate you from, you know, the, 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 the fellowship. He's going to he's going to separate you from society as a whole. He's going to separate you by denying you. Of, 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 of you know, the participation. He's going to deny you of, you know, your, your necessities. You won't be able to have access to it if you don't have this means of technology. That he controls. This is him trying to get you to bow down to his AI. He's trying to get you to submit to him 
and in, 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 in a roundabout way, call him the most high. Because he's basically saying, hey, well, my hands have uh, made this. I created this with my hands. Look at how advanced this is. Uh, I'm, we're able to transcend everything that, that the Heavenly Father created. So if you don't get down with the program, we're going to isolate, we're we, we going to cut you off. And then ultimately, we're going to call you a terrorist or an insurgent and we're going to put you to death. We're going to, we're going to, you know, put you in guillotines or, 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 or just, you know, put you to death or, or, or lock you in a prison. This, this is where it's going to uh, get to. And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a, a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell because it's, it's all everything is digital now save he that had the mark you got to have this device now connected to this technology or the name of the beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man in this number 603 score and six all right so you see where, where this is all heading. This is heading right to that direction. All right, right here in Babylon the Great, the US is considering a radical thinking of the dollar for today's digital world. And these other and these false prophets are still stuck on stupid, as you can see. A lot of them are are, are just paid off. That's why they're they're dumb dogs loving the slumber that cannot bark. But you can clearly see the way things are going. That, you know, this is all fulfillment, man. You can see it lining up. All right. So you can expect this inflation to just spiral out of control. It's going to get worse. We're going to see hyperinflation eventually and then the death of the dollar and then the rolling out of these digital currencies under basically under a, a one world global, a one world uh, digital currency and everybody's going to have to be connected to that grid by way of this technology okay and we and, and that's knowing the judgment this is the reason why we always go into it because we're trying to pull you out of the fire uh jude 1 and 23 and i'm let me read it in the uh NLT. It is uh, Jude 1 and 23. It says, rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Because if you take the Karagma, all right, which, you know, this is uh, the direction that they're heading in. This is the system that they're getting, that they're getting ready to roll out. They, 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 they got you thinking that they're considering or they're thinking about it. No, this is what they're going to do. All right. Well, you, you've been warned by the prophets of what's going to happen. It says, rescue others by snatching them from the flames of judgment. Show mercy and still others, but do so with great caution, hating the sins that contaminate their lives. All right. We're pulling them, you know, out of the flames, man. Because this is the judgment for those who end up receiving it. At Revelation 15 and uh, 9. And it says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Mosiah, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels in the presence of the Lamb. And there's no repenting, man. Once you get it, that's it. Because you made the conscious decision to, to, to give your soul over to the beast. You allowed him to mark mark you, you know, as his property. He branded you. You allowed him to brand mark you. So after that, the Most High will seize you. He will see you as an infidel. You're now Esau. You're, you're the your property of the beast now. And we know what he's going to do. He's going to destroy the beast in a lake of fire. It says, 
And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast in his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. All right. So, you know, I just want to uh, go into that. And this is uh, the, the article here, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description box. All right, so, uh, hey, man, you know, we're definitely in in those times, man. You're seeing all the, the things happening in the world as far as, uh, you know, the uproars of the people. You're seeing, uh, you know, you're seeing Esau divided. You're seeing the love of many is waxing cold. But you're also seeing this. Where they're 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 you know bringing about the the the, the gradual transformation into this uh, MOTB digital system, the fourth industrial revolution. All right, it's all going down, man. And you seeing what's happening in Israel too, with the Lord bringing forth all these uh, false prophets. And, and 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 bringing out all eleven that you that you're seeing from these uh, false prophets, man. All these crazy doctrines. This is all by the spirit, man. So hey, the end of all things is at hand. Watch unto prayer, all right. And with that, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, Shabbat Shalom, and to the next, to the next one, Shalom.